These AI companies are about to disrupt the 3D space. It's going to be insane. Let's take a look at the first one called Move AI. And you can see here these 3D creations, even showing normal people doing a bunch of different movements. And it looks super crazy, high quality. And you're probably confused what is actually going on. Well, let me show you exactly what is happening. So take a look at this example. This guy is just in the park doing some flips filming on camera and as you can see the result on the left is this crazy sci-fi style creation of him in this arctic empty land and as a super furry person and if you were to understand 3d creation cgi and just how to actually create this from scratch you'll know that it one it is super difficult two can cost a lot of money and three is highly time consuming and the fact that this person was able to have this recreated for him with ease in the park like this is mind-blowing now let's take a look at some more examples of what people have created so as you can see the rigging the 3d bones if you ever use 3d softwares you would understand this however if you've never done then you might not understand the difficulty and the actual impressiveness of these softwares right now so let's actually take a look at additional creations that they can do with Move AI. So take a look at this. This looks like some guy doing some dance moves in a studio. And as you can see, this avatar created all three dimensional in this fictional, looks like some sort of outside island valley area. And it's just incredible how precise and exact every single movement this person's doing is right here and you can look at what he's wearing it just looks like normal clothes so if you've ever seen hollywood behind the scenes you've probably seen those movie actors wearing crazy suits and all these crazy little dots on their face and everything however from this example it just looks like he has a tripod with cameras and just doing the movements just like that and here is more of a behind the scenes showcasing with multiple people as well so that's quite impressive to see how every single person's movements being tracked and basically anything that you can do on camera that it can see it will pretty much lock that out in terms of your movements even over here we can see stuff with the actual bones the rigging and this is a band and the potential of this i think is going to be insane because imagine the amount of things people can recreate from ease with a simple camera without having to have the full Hollywood set, I think that's going to be game changing. Now, this part is quite impressive and basically motion capture on mobile devices. So it looks like they have their application right here. They list some phones that they recommend and essentially looks like all iPhones and starting from the latest of the eighth up to the current 14. And basically they say it has been designed to work on any iOS 16 iPhone and you can use between two to six devices to match and mix any new old refurbished device from the iPhone models. And basically, want to shoot Android other cameras, they have this experimental option as well. And just look, you can see in the background, phone on tripod, person has no sort of costume, no special gear, no green screen, anything, just chilling in their house. And all of a sudden, full credit, look at this, has this complete, look like robotic person just doing exactly everything that's it's crazy actually watching how insane this is and that is just the beginning now in terms of the actual use cases it seems like the pricing you are limited with the length of video that you are able to create however you can look at the details and pretty much see what they currently are charging and then in the future they might change their plans but from my understanding you get 12 months access for the listed price and then pretty much you can use up to 30 minutes of process animation per month or six hours across the 12 month period so basically it's not allowing you to make you know full-fledged multiple hour long movies every single day however this seems still a starting phase eventually i'm sure if that cat were to increase then you could go ahead and do that but still just from the basics just looking how cool this is this is already the ideas I could see. Content creation, even look at this, just family running around in a little studio with multiple tripods, has this full-fledged sci-fi movie creation right here, which personally, I don't even know how to even create this myself, but I do know if I were to reach out to 3D CGI artist specialist, this would take 
tons of time, tons of money, and obviously not be worth it if I'm just doing this for a fun project. Now let's take a look at another 3D software that's going to change the game. And it's called Spline AI. And just take a look at this. They have their 3D dashboard software where you basically can type any prompt that you want and it's going to recreate it in 3D. And you can actually go ahead and edit these as well. And if for anybody who's used Blender, you know how difficult this is to create these 3D isometric style text, etc., and do it from scratch with animations, textures, coloring, etc. That stuff is extremely difficult, extremely time consuming. And the fact that this AI can do this just from a simple prompt is going to revolutionize the 3D industry forever. So if you've ever seen any sort of 3D creation, majority of people, if they've never touched 3D software, have no idea how difficult those things are to create. So for example, this full little layout right here, the donut, the phone, the coffee, everything, that stuff takes hours of recreating, tweaking, and basically the amount of time and cost it is to make that from outsourcing, it's it's expensive. If you were to have that fully outsourced, it's going to cost a lot of money. So again, the pros is gonna save so much time and money for people wanting to create their own 3D. However, for the people in the industry, definitely have to be on alert because this could replace something that you do on a daily basis. Now what we can do is actually take a look at the behind the scenes of Spline right now so we can see the differences and the complications for not having AI infused with it. So here's just a normal dashboard and right now they don't have the AI added yet. That was just simply a showcase of the potential that is going to be able to do. However, I wanna show you the behind the scenes of what it's like to recreate something from scratch so that if you've never used 3D software before, you can fully grasp the complexity of doing everything line by line, second by second, whereas typing it in a prompt is significantly easier. So for example, let's just go ahead and just click on something for here, like game interaction. And now you can see we have this little dashboard screen. This is on the browser as well, which is quite amazing because for Blender and other 3D softwares, you usually have to download that and it takes up a lot of space. And you can see the UI, the actual design of this interface is quite amazing. It has a very similar design to a famous uh, company called Figma, which does like UI, UX stuff for uh, website usually or apps. And basically we can zoom in like this. And these, again, this was a pre-generated uh, design, but pretty much I can click here, I can move stuff around, go ahead, I can resize things, I can copy it. I can scale it. And as you can see, look at how difficult this is if you've never used 3D software to go ahead and recreate something of your own. And then also there's these options up here. So for example, if I click here, I click over here and I can click got it, scroll over and look at this. This is a cube right here. And basically this cube, if I were to edit this one, I have to go over here. I gotta click all these little buttons. I gotta resize it. I gotta drag it around. And as you can see, just to create, for example, a basic design such as like a iPhone, I'd have to go here and then tweak it up maybe. And again, I'm sure there's much more efficient ways to do this. However, since this is still a new software, I have no idea exactly the fastest way to go ahead and go in there. But once they release the AI, it would just simply, you type in, make me an iPhone case, 3D rectangle, whatever it is, boom, it shows up and then you go ahead and edit it, take a picture or whatever, export this to whatever you need to use it for, and then you're done. So as you can see, these are going to change the game for the industry. So if you wanna see the latest, greatest updates in the AI news, tech, softwares, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And aside from that, thank you for watching.